the International Conference on Illicit Financial Flow and Asset Recovery, which was put together by the Presidential Advisory Committee on Anti-Corruption, is the first of its kind on the African continent. It attracted participants from various nations of the world, particularly those considered a safe haven for stolen funds from Nigeria. Speaking, the acting president lamented that some nations have become safe haven for stolen Nigerians' wealth and are reluctant to return them despite conviction of those who stole such money. This cannot happen. These, um, the transfer of these assets up and down the place cannot happen without a handshake, if you like, between the countries where they are transferred and the institutions and countries to which they are transferred, especially the financial institutions. There is no way that it will happen without some form of connivance between international banking institutions and uh, those who transfer these funds. So, there, so we must work at somehow leg delegitimizing those kinds of transactions and criminalizing them. Professor Oshiba Jo was quick to point out that alleged corrupt Nigerians are waging a tough war against the anti-graft war and are determined to derail it. When corruption finds safe havens, when corrupt money finds safe havens, it is, a, it, it is emboldened and is able to fight back. We are experiencing in Nigeria a situation where corruption fights back and fights back so persuasively, so eloquently sometimes, and with such resources, that government itself, if government is not careful, it can be overwhelmed. And it is because the resources have safe havens everywhere. Foreign Affairs Minister Geoffrey Oyema and Presidential Advisory Committee Chairman Professor Issa Sage also demanded an end to illicit cash flow and plundering of the nation's treasury. We urge global institutions including the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and the United Nations itself to assist both source and destination countries in the implementation of effective measures aimed at detecting, preventing, and countering corruption. This hemorrhaging is leaving our shores, our underdeveloped shores, for those of the economically developed world, developing them more whilst we are returning into the Stone Age. The concept note of this conference informs us that the annual flow of proceeds of criminal activity is estimated, estimated at between one billion dollars and one point, sorry, one trillion and one point six trillion dollars. Justice Minister Abubakar Malami and other speakers believe that unless Nigerians buy into the anti graft war, illicit funds will continue to flow out of the country. As government continue to press for the repatriation of stolen funds from countries where they were kept, Nigerians on the street are busy asking one question. What is government doing with the trillions of naira it claimed to have recovered already, particularly as the recession bites harder? From the old banquet hall, Asorok Presidential Villa, I'm Ikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.